Five steps for overcoming a complicated anatomy exam question. So if you've ever got into the exam hall or you've just opened up your mock questions and you've just been looking through the questions and you hit that one question, that one question that kind of makes your heart pound, not only faster, but it kind of feels like it's going to about to leap out of your chest, makes your palms go a little bit sweaty, makes you kind of doubt that you even know anything as you kind of start looking through. And as you find those questions, your heart beats faster, your eyes get wider, and suddenly you start doubting anything else that you're gonna be able to do for the rest of the exam. You start doubting that you know the answer to that particular question. Wherever you are in that exam, whether it's the first question or the fifth or the 50th, if you come across that complicated anatomy exam question, First things first is don't compare yourself to what others are doing in that exam hall because they might be on a different question. That's always the first thing to think. And also, sometimes when it's complicated, it's just complicated to you because of how you're feeling in that moment. So I've got five steps that I wanna take you through so that you can calm yourself down on the exam day and then use that information that you already know to help you pass that question. So. There is an acronym to help you remember the five steps. The five different steps refer to the acronym of KINGS, so K-I-N-G-S. Nice, powerful and control kind of driven words. It's about you finding a good amount of control in how you decide to answer that question. And that is about you finding space and time and accessing the right knowledge part in your brain. So here goes. First thing is K, this is for keywords. What are the keywords in that question? And you're gonna write these down on your scrap bit of paper. So you're literally writing down what the keywords in that question are. Then the second part is I. So I is what do I know about those keywords I've just written down. So if you've got say heart, you've got circulation, you've got uh, chambers in there and you've got art arteries what do you know about those already that can start piecing some of the puzzle together so just what do you already know about those key terms the third point is n now n is about necessity what is it that the question needs you to know so what does the question need you to know what is it really asking you so when you look at that from a necessity point of view, you go, okay, it needs me to know the blood flow around the heart and the, and the circulatory system. That's what it's asking me for. So really important, this, this N, is to know what the question is asking you for. What's the necessity? Then the, the fourth one is G, which is guess. At this point, you put everything you know in terms of your key terms, everything about what they need to know, and you're gonna make a guess in your head of what that would include. This doesn't involve looking at the suggested answers underneath. This is just everything in your head itself. So you put that together and you make an educated guess. Then you look at the sample questions below, which is your fifth step. This is the S. So these are the suggested answers or the sample answers below. And you're literally gonna work your way through those four and you're gonna look at them and you're gonna go, right, that is a definite yes. That is a definite yes, that is a definite no, etc. And you'll probably have two that you think are a definite cannot be the answer based on everything you know about those key terms. And then you'll have two that you think, oh, that might be the answer. In which case that allows you to make an educated guess between the two that you think are the most likely. So that is your acronym to have a go and practice with. K-I-N-G-S. So what are the key terms? What do you know about it? So I, what do I know about it? The necessity, what is the question asking you? Then you make a guess and then you check the suggested answers for that guess or for something very similar. So there, that is your acronym. What I would like you to do is to take a mock question. I've got one here on this blog as well. So if you're watching this via our blog page, you've got the mock question with it. If not, click through to the link to the blog and you'll be able to access that mock question. Look at that mock question, work your way through it using that King's formula, and then you will be able to just take your time, calm down and find a way to be able to find that answer because you actually do know it. Chances are it's in your head and you know it. It's just a case of relaxing and getting into the flow of it and accessing the right place in your brain. So that's my first part of the challenge. And then once you've done that, is to download the 101 mock questions and practice with as many of those mock questions as you can 
using this King's formula on a question that you find complicated. So they are our five steps to overcoming a complicated anatomy exam question. Make sure you, once you've done that, you pop a little comment below if this has been useful and let me know how you get on using the King's formula. Have a fantastic day and the best of luck for your exam. Take care.